everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how we can design or style these file upload fields using the materialize css framework it's going to be very very simple as you can see the first one you choose the file let's say that and yeah that's the file you have chosen it it's single so this one as you can see even there is a place order that tells you choose multiple files that means in that input field you can choose more than one image let's say select that press the control button on your keyboard let's say we choose also that and this and as you can see this field will be catering for all those multiple files that you have chosen unlike to the first one it is meant to only upload one file that's what I'm going to be showing you in this simple video. When I refresh this page, you're going to be left with nothing. This is the file you're seeing here. We are just going to be creating everything from scratch with you guys. Now, what you have to be having, it's the materialized CSS framework. In the previous tutorial, when I was creating some simple form, I showed you how you can get that framework and include it in your project. I guess you are good to go with this tutorial. As you can see, I already linked mine. It's in the folder CSS. And this is the file that I'm linking to the page, materialize.mini.css. And I guess we don't need this for this tutorial. I guess, because it's responsible for the icons. We don't need this for this tutorial. What we need is only the CSS file. What I'm going to do is create div and I'm going to give it a class of container. I guess you all know what container does. If you're new, container leaves some eco fixed width on the web page on both sides. Then inside that, we, I'm going to create, I like putting all my projects inside panels. So I'm going to create a div. And I'm going to give it a class of card panel. Class card panel. Then I'm going to now create a form inside that card panel. As you know, it will be a form you're submitting to some database somewhere, some folders using PHP. So it will be a form. I'm not going to add these attributes. You see, action, method, the ink type, stuff like that. Now, what we are going to do is create a div. Now, these frameworks, it's all about writing divs and classes. So, we are going to create a div and we are going to give it a class of file field, file dash field. Let me hope I will spare this today, right? <laughs> file field. Then space, when you are trying to put multiple classes in one div, you have to leave a space. And then we shall say input dash field. So those are two different type of classes that you are seeing there. Now inside this div, we are going to create another div. And we are going to give it a class of btn. So it's going to be a button where the user will be able to see the button. So I'm going to give it a class of btn that's the class and inside here we're going to put the span tag of the word that we want to be visible on the button which is going to be file let me make it capital file and inside here we create an input tag and the type is going to be file so we want the user to be clicking it. I guess that's it. Let's save and preview it in the browser. This is what we are having. Don't worry about this floating element. It's outside the panel. We are going to work on that. Then let me try to space so that you follow up properly. I guess this is nested in one div 
we are still inside this parent div you're seeing with file file field and input field then we are going to space below here we create another div and we are going to give this div the class of file path wrapper file dash path dash wrapper hope i've spelled it properly yes that's right then inside here we create an input field and we are going to give it a type of text and we give it a class of file path if i'm not mistaken file dash path i guess this will do the magic even solve this simple floating problem yeah so right now we are having that then lastly let's create an input field oh sorry an input element and it's going to be the submit button submit the value will be upload and the class I want to give it let me first show you how it will be looking like before us putting any styling that's how it's going to be looking like but when i put this class of btn and let's save we are going to get this floating problem once again and it's very very easy to solve come down here put some div as you do it in vanilla CSS, and we shall say clear fix. Very, very simple. And that problem will be solved. Now let's push this button to the right hand side. And it's very simple. What we have to add is a simple class called right. There you go. We have created the first form of file upload field now this is what is happening for this first field we are allowed to only choose one item or file see this so when i select this and i press ctrl trying to select another file it won't allow me to do so so that means it's only meant to upload one file. Why is it not displaying the text? I've written everything okay. Let me try to put an image. Yes, let's first refresh. Pom pom. Uh, the reason why the reason why it's not bringing up the text to, here on the input field for text it's because I didn't link the JavaScript. So the JavaScript is also required to be in this project. So then the same directory, we shall just reference to the folder where it is. Say JS, then materialize dot mini dot js let's save that and see it should bring up the name of the file here now let's scroll down you forgive me for the noise yeah i guess you can see they can now display the name of the file then you click upload if i told you are working with some some back-end language 
So I'm going to copy the same stuff here. For the multiple upload button or oh, sorry input field then what you need to do only add there an attribute called multiple multiple then let's refresh here and i'm going to make this one totally different from that i'm going to give it color red same applies to this red and we are going to add some placeholder can say choose multiple files i've seen already some misspelling so let's save that preview it in the browser we should be having this placeholder there and with this attribute it will enable us to select multiple files if you want to upload them at once so check out this then i can select this select this even this and click open as you can see they are stored in some array format so first image second image that image so guys that's it thanks for watching like the video share it on different social medias and i'll be seeing you in the next tutorials so remember the other it had some hoverboard effect so when the user hovers over this last field as you can see it gets that hover effect thanks for watching guys